In one of my previous videos, I said if you guys got that video to over 100 likes, I would do whatever the top comment says. And this is what the top comment says that's a lot more reasonable than what the previous one said. So a healthy Anthony Richardson with the Indianapolis Colts. In all my rebuilds, I turn off injury, but this is just for the fact that we want to keep Anthony Richardson healthy, so I made sure to turn injury off. Now, I know a lot of you guys think, oh, Vic is just such a, he's such a negative person. He's just so, so mean to teams. I'm going to glaze this team. I'm not going to lie. The Texans and the Colts being in the same division looks mad interesting. Anthony Richardson, before he got hurt, looks sick. Jonathan Taylor surprisingly stayed with the Colts after his owner spent millions of dollars on a whale just for it to die a couple weeks later. Pretty sure Michael Pittman got a nice contract in real life or he got tagged. I'm not going to lie. I kind of forgot, but either way, he's staying with the team. Josh Downs, I absolutely loved him in the previous draft. I thought he was going to be a late first round pick, if not an early second rounder. He fell to the third round. It was a steal for the Colts. He wasn't crazy his rookie year. He had 700 yards, two touchdowns, but for rookie, for a rookie, that's a really, really nice start for Josh Downs. And overall, once they incorporate him more and more into the off offense, I think more and more into the slot. I think Alec Pierce was playing this a lot more. Once they incorporate him more into the slot and giving him more playing time, I think he's going to be really, really good for this team. Obviously, the offensive line for the Colts is really, really good with Quentin Nelson. I thought he used to be one of the best offensive linemen in the entire NFL. I'm pretty sure his first three years in the NFL, he had three sacks throughout three years, which was crazy. Really, really crazy for him. Really crazy for anyone. Still think Zach Martin is a better guard, but still Quentin Nelson is great. And he's only 28. So in Madden, that's actually young for an offensive lineman. I think they start regression around 32, which is the same age for a QB regression in Madden. Then we got Jelani Woods here. Jelani Woods is 25. He's 6'7". I didn't know that. 6'7", 253. That's kind of crazy. Hopefully he develops here. And before I forget, if you guys do want me to do another top comment rebuild, whatever the top comment is, I'll do a rebuild. But, but you have to get this video to 150 likes. I know I was doing 100 likes before, but I know so like I already made an outrageous video with Rashi Rice on the Raiders. Someone's going to say something completely out of pocket and I'm going to get demonetized. So I got to raise this like goal to 150 likes or else I'm going to get something stupid like do a 30 year reboot. Please do not do that. I will cry. DeForest Buckner, he's great. He's only an 86 overall right now. Oh, he regressed because of mad regression. He got superstar X Factor though. You know what? That's fine. If he regressed and he got X Factor, in Madden. I'll just keep it at that and just call it fair game. Uh, Grover Stort resigned with the Colts, I think on a one-year deal. Quiddy Pay, he hasn't really done much, I'm not going to lie, in real life. I haven't been crazy about him. I honestly haven't really been keeping up with him, but this 2023 season was just in Madden. He had six sacks, 10 tackles for a loss. Like, not bad, but for a first-round pick, I'd like to have a little bit more results there. Defensively, Kenny Moore, uh, Emmanuel Speed, or is that Elijah Speed? EJ Speed, same shit. Defensively, Zaire Franklin, Julian Blackman, they re-signed, and Julius Brent. Overall, the defense is solid. I like the defensive line, but this interior defensive line is pretty old. Samson Abukum is not going to cut it. Hopefully, Quiddy Pay develops. But the offense looks really, really promising for this Colts team, and I'm actually excited to see Trevor Lawrence, AR, CJ Stroud and Will Levis all in the same division this year. If they all stay healthy, that'd be pretty sick. I know to some people this may seem way too early to chop Robinson. Some people have him going early second round. I think he can easily be a late first rounder and some people might even reach to mid first round. Like for example, Will McDonald last year was projected to be an early second rounder, late first round. He went mid first round to the Jets. I think it's very plausible for chop Robinson to go mid first round or even late first round here, but I'm going to send him to the Colts because I don't think Quiddy Pay can get it done by himself not hating on him. Hopefully he develops in Madden. I don't really know too much about him. But Chop Robinson, super athlete freak out of Penn State, 6'3", 254, 90 speed, 92 acceleration, hit in dev. So many A's and B's across the board. I think he's going to be sick in real life. In the second round, I'm picking a middle linebacker, Junior Colson out of Michigan, 6'2", 250, very balanced athleticism, hidden dev. So many A's across the board. He looks great. Xavier Leggett fell to the fourth round. Hell yeah. I think Xavier Leggett is sick in real life out of South Carolina, and he has hidden dev. Xavier Leggett, I think I'm going to play him in the slot and then have Josh Downs be my two, but I think he's really, really sick in real life. 93 speed, 93 acceleration, hidden dev, B's across the board. And for a fourth round pick, that's definitely really nice. Now, this is the team 
after the draft. Of course, the AI just had to draft Frank Gore Jr. in the later rounds. I stopped picking after I drafted Xavier Leggett. That's crazy that he's already like a fifth round pick and he's a 75 overall without the boost off the rip. So I guess we get Frank Gore Jr. now too. I'm pretty sure he has superstar dev as well. I just realized this dude's last name is Fries. Will Fries. What a legendary man. But for the team, Anthony Richardson, Michael Pittman Jr., Xavier Leggett, Josh Downs, Anthony Richardson has a really, really nice lineup here for his offense, getting Jonathan Taylor as well as really nice. Of course, he has a nice offensive line, but Chop Robinson, I need to move him down. So I move Chop Robinson down and I move Colson to the outside. He actually goes up and overall and Chop Robinson loses an overall for moving to end, but it's fine. He's going to be really, really nice to pair with this D line. I think it would be sick if they actually got Chop Robinson in real life. Specialist though, Chop Robinson, I want him playing at rush right end. I'm going to have to force that. Colson, I don't know why he's trying to play edge here, but I want him to get rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year, or course shop robinson to get it whoever gets it there first either way josh downs is playing in the slot so i guess that means if josh downs is playing in the slot i'll move leggett to the two here because i guess he's just got a bigger size but for now let's move in into the midseason mark four and two top of the division titans are at the bottom of the division texans being two and four with stefan diggs is actually kind of crazy scouting national focus i think i'm gonna go into your defensive line here just because a lot of them are on one-year contracts Speaking of one-year contracts, DeForest Buckner is here and also Grover Stort is here, so that's why I wanted to change that. DeForest Buckner, one year. I mean, since I don't have to pay a QB, I'll work down his contract as he regresses. And if I don't have to pay a QB, I'll gladly resign an X-Factor and he comes back for another year. Kenny Moore, I mean, he is getting older, but it's fine. I'll just keep him around for another year. He's still high overall. He resigns. I'll probably keep him for the rest of the rebuild if he doesn't regress too far. Zaire Franklin, the difference is he's not a high overall. He will start regression. He technically already is at the age of 28. It's just a small regression. I'll do like a one year deal with you and then increase your bonus if you're cool with that. And he doesn't like that. So he's not going to resign. So I'll hold that off till later. Grover Stewart though, he wants to be a Super Bowl chase. I mean, it could happen this year, but I mean, I guess that's if we win a playoff game. It's just a Super Bowl chase, not necessarily go to the Super Bowl. So I'm going to wait on that. EJ Speed, I'm just not interested in. I got to see your speed, dude. Come on. If your last name is Speed, you must have used that phrase so many times in real life. 86 speed? I mean, for a linebacker, not bad. But I expected more. Uh, Deo, whatever the hell his last name is. Ryan Kelly, I'll do a one-year deal with him, and then I'm probably going to get his replacement just because he's already about to be 32 by the end of the season. Will Fry is like... I don't care if it's just a meme. I'm signing him for the rest of the rebuild. Will Fries is a legendary name. He's going to stay. Imagine if you actually got re-signed in real life for having your last name be Fries. Thomas Moore said I just signed as a backup. And I believe Joe Flacco, does he have the mentor card? He does have the mentor tag. So I like that we have him to give Anthony Richardson more XP. I forgot to sign one, but I'm glad that I already had one. So I didn't need to. Either way, we have 41 million left. But for now, let's move in to the playoffs. We go from 4-2 and two top of the division to 8-9. and nine. We missed the playoffs. Somehow the Texans finished the the bottom of the division and we finished third behind the eight and nine titans why is my defensive rushing game 26 my linebackers are solid and i have two i have two great defensive tackles they're above an 85 overall one of them is an x factor i have a great defensive line why is it so bad anthony richardson i mean oh eh, 89 pass rating 15th best offense 10th best defense like oh dude like <laughs> Some Jamison Win. This is Jameis Winston numbers here, except Jameis Winston had like what 40 touchdowns, 5,000 yards. Like, this is bad, dude. 22 interceptions is outrageous. 89 pass rating isn't good. I, that's a bad season for Richardson. Hopefully, he develops more. Jonathan Taylor, 1,100 yards, 4.3 per carry, 17 touchdowns. If Anthony Richardson is throwing that many interceptions, I need you to hand the ball off to Jonathan Taylor more. Michael Pittman, 1,300 yards, eight touchdowns. Josh Downs, five touchdowns, 700 yards. Xavier Leggett, 700 yards, three touchdowns, nine touchdowns for Jelani Woods. Zaire Franklin with 126 tackles, tackles for a loss, 19 for Chop Robinson, and five sacks. That's a great rookie year. 78 tackles, 19 tackles for a loss, and five sacks is a great rookie year to force buckner 10 and a half sacks yet we still have one of the bottom ranked defensive lines quitty pay seven and a half sacks that's nice overall that's actually his best season yet and interceptions wise rodney thomas our free safety three interceptions safety zero defensive touchdowns is zero and the bills win their first ever super bowl beating the packers here matt milano wins the super bowl mvp and they do it without stefan diggs which is crazy jalen hurts wins the league mvp offensive player of the year is Devontae smith so i guess they go two and two together caleb williams on the titans 
wins rookie of the year doesn't even make the playoffs in his first year and jared verse on the cardinals damn they reached hard for jared verse not even dallas turner that's crazy. In the AFC South, the Nico Autry and Joe Flacco both retire. For the team upgrades, Frank Gore has superstar dev. I already knew that. And then Xavier Leggett has star dev. Jelani Woods has superstar dev. Defensively, Chop Robinson gets superstar dev because the XP points, I can see that. Colson comes with superstar dev. That's sick to see. Thomas has star dev. Rodney Thomas, he's 26 out of Yale. Big brain, but he probably won't develop past an 80. So the defense looks really nice. Yes, keep in mind, this was like the 26th ranked defense in the league. Usually always go with the Buffalo defense defense but one of my commenters told me to do san francisco's defense so we're gonna keep it at a base 4-3 i'm gonna try this usually my commenters be like oh run like the jets playbook and it will give me like a bottom ranked defense for the players ready to negotiate zaire franklin he doesn't really want to be here and i don't really want to pay him grover stewart 14 million for an 82 overall that's going to re be regressing and he doesn't want to be here like past that i don't want him and i don't think i want anyone else here either nor does anyone else want to stay here with me so i'm just going to hit free agency after the free agency signings got tyron matthew on a one-year contract i know rodney thomas didn't do bad but still i want a higher overall free safety there jake bailey as a long-term punter and then dalvin tomlinson as a temporary replacement for defensive tackle and i just also added levi wallace because i remember offering on steven nelson but i guess he re he rejected levi wallace he's 30 years old he has star dev i only got him on a one-year deal just as a filler player which is a lot of what a, these players are because they're all on one-year deal in the first round even though i did pick up levi wallace i'm picking up db vince carson out of michigan state 6'1 205 hidden dev 93 speed 93 acceleration he looks very well balanced a zone coverage b press beat a d catching but still zone archetypes obviously he looks good in the second round getting defensive tackle tackle tyler thomas i don't know why i stuttered over that either way normal dev but still i wanted to point out 400 pounds damn dude 94 strength is nuts a tackle a player it said he had elite acceleration and elite strength how do you have elite acceleration at 404 damn this dude is huge in the third round, picking up right outside linebacker Mason Meredith out of Ohio State to replace EJ Speed, six foot. 234 hidden dev 87 speed 88 acceleration and b's across the board this is the team after the draft the offense looks basically exactly the same well actually it is exactly the same i think i mainly went defense here except i got this guy in the fourth round george here and he had a elite acceleration like elite strength he seemed so sick he had so many a's across the board and then he was just normal dev which is super frustrating defensively though thomas here the 404 pound defensive lineman 75 overall normal dev again which really sucks but carson is a 78 so he seems sick meredith is a 73 got this guy connor in the fifth round i believe he was supposed to be a udfa but hey 69 overall for udfa is honestly not that bad josh downs i guess will be playing in the slot once again colson over there chopper robinson carson i'm gonna put him in the slot so that way he gets more reps apart from that guys year number two let's see if we can actually make the playoffs but first moving to the midseason mark four and three third in the division here jaguars are balling texans are four and two something i want to mention about the jaguars is if you look at trevor lawrence stats he seems kind of like mid i don't know why he has like superstar in madden he just seems like all right i guess in madden and he's a baller in simulation for some reason for the scouting national focus i'm gonna go middle linebacker for the players ready to negotiate jelani woods he has superstar dev he's about to turn 27 but still i think a four-year deal for him only six million a year i like that and he resigns deforest buckner just doesn't want to be here anymore team has a franchise qb i mean after throwing 22 interceptions i believe i would be pretty sad about that too but hopefully that changes next year so for now i'm gonna hold off our franchise left tackle this is gonna be a bag uh, i thought it was gonna be more honestly but still i'll do a four-year contract he's a franchise left tackle and he stays with the team quitty pay this is interesting i want to see how he performs at the end of the year i don't want to overpay for this dude i mean this really isn't that bad of a contract for seven and a half sacks a year it's not crazy but chop robinson i'm hoping he's carrying the team i'll actually give this to him around 11 million 10 million a year for quitty pay to sign with the rest of the rebuild and he resigns julian blackman doesn't want to be here i kind of want him he just doesn't want to be in our scheme fit am i willing to pay him around 10 million a year probably not so i'm actually just gonna wait on this Braden smith he just doesn't like our scheme fit i'm gonna pay him a bag damn dude my other guy was the same overall and left tackles get paid more than right tackles this dude wants so much more money damn how is this a fair offer either way i i mean i know he had less interest but even with base like pay like come on dude <laughs> like that was so much for no reason but i still paid it to him because i still don't have to pay out qb kenny warren i'll just do another one year contract as you slowly regress and okay i'll just wait for you to regress even more and give you a cheaper contract in the offseason rodney thomas you had a you had a good year with us but i'm 
I'm honestly not that interested. He probably won't make it to an 80, as I said before. Tyron Matthew, Levi Wallace, Ryan Kelly, I don't really want anymore. Dalvin Tomlinson, don't really want. All one-year contracts, not really interested in. Simpson and Bookham, already benched you year one. Anthony Richardson, I'll accept his option. But apart from that, let's move in into the playoffs. But before we do that, this Niners playbook, it sucks. Like, our offense is balling. The defense just sucks. I'm, I'm switching back to what I like to do. Oh, Vic, you didn't give the playbook a chance. I need to win games. It, it's literally that simple. I'm going back to my Buffalo playbook because it works. Sometimes. Bingo, bango, bongo. Yeah, I uh, prefer my Buffalo playbook for sure. Let me see the team ranks. Yeah, it actually came back on the season whenever I switched. Offensive points per game one. Offensive passing game is number one. That's sick. But of course, we got to face Jamar Chase and the Bengals in round one. Jamar Chase put up 112 receptions, 1,600 yards, 13 touchdowns. He's a 99 overall along with Joe Burrow. He's crazy. Coming off a win to Stephon Diggs and, to, and the Texans 35 to 18 as they finished 10 and 7. And it looks like the Jaguars made it, the Texans made it, and we also made it. But of course, we got to play the Bengals round one. That really sucks. For the stats and awards, Anthony Richardson is your league MVP after that atrocious season. How? How is he not getting this? He's one in passing yards, one in passing touchdowns. How? Best offense in the NFL, 14th best defense. 14 receptions is probably the reason, but still 73% completion percentage, 116 pass rating. He also has one rushing touchdown. He should be running more than this. Still, I want to compare this. There's no way Mahomes beat him out on this one. It was Mahomes and who? Lamar, maybe just on rushing stats. Lamar probably got it. Richardson has 4,800 yards, 47 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Mahomes has less interceptions, similar touchdowns, similar yards, Less, less completion percentage, if I'm not wrong, actually in a better passer rating. Same amount of touchdowns, he has a little bit more yards, a little bit more interceptions. Pass rating is a little bit better for Mahomes. So actually, Mahomes did beat him just because Anthony Richardson still has an interception problem. But still, it's an amazing year. 14 interceptions isn't the end of the world, but it definitely needs improvement. Jonathan Taylor, more attempts this time. Finally, 1,400 yards, 4.8 per carry, 15 touchdowns. Also, no fumbles for him on the year. That's a W. Michael Pittman, 19 touchdowns, 1,600 yards, 120 receptions. He just outperformed Jamar Chase. That should be superstar X Factor. I don't care that he's a star right now. I'm moving him to X Factor. This is a crazy season. Josh Downs, first season over 1,000 yards, got 91 receptions, 8 touchdowns. Jelani Woods, 7 touchdowns. Almost 900 yards. Xavier Leggett, nah, whatever. Defensively, Junior Colson, 107 tackles. Tackles for a loss. 15 for Chop Robinson. Sacks, 16 for DeForest Buckner. 9.5 for Chop Robinson. He's already outperforming Quiddy Pay. And then Dalvin Tomlinson, 3.5 sacks. 13 tackles for a loss. For only a one-year signing, that's not bad. Interceptions, 4 for Kenny Moore. Safeties on the team is zero defensive touchdowns is zero can your league mvp contender anthony richardson beat the Bengals and jamar chase we do 31 to 28 of course you got to play the chiefs dude somebody else take them out they beat the texans to play us here and we beat them 35 to 20 and now we got to dude we got to run this gauntlet of joe burrow lamar jackson patrick mahomes god we just beat the league mvp can we beat the runner up for league mvp now let's move into it here we are against the ravens they're gonna open up with seven then immediately take the ball away from us and double up on it 14 to 7 21 to 7 anthony richardson you need to step up and defense needs to step up as well and they're just gonna allow more scores offense needs to get the ball there we go 17 24 Two score lead. Yeah, it's going to be wraps. We're going to lose in the conference championship. Runner up for league MVP goes to the Super Bowl. Anthony Richardson, who's basically a mini version of Lamar, but with a bigger arm, goes to the offseason. And the Ravens beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson wins the Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes wins the league MVP. Michael Pittman Jr. wins Offensive Player of the Year. Jalen Carter, Defensive Player of the Year. And there are no rookie awards for the Colts, but really it's tough the way the season ended. I thought we could definitely go for a Super Bowl run there, but we looked really good. Hopefully we can bounce back next season. In the AFC South, Kyle Fuller retires on the Texans. Taylor Lewan and DeAndre Hopkins both retire on the Titans. For the team upgrades, Anthony Richardson. I'm tempted to give this dude X Factor. Like he was top three for league MVP. If you're a top three quarterback, let alone a top three player in the entire NFL, realistically, Matt, you know what? He led the league. If you want to cry in the comments, I don't care. He led the league in passing touchdowns and in passing yards. I don't care if he threw 14 receptions. I'm giving him X Factor. Jonathan Taylor gets X Factor. Dude, let's be real here. Let's be real here. Again, I know it seems like I'm cheating. 
if you are the offensive player of the year, you're getting X Factor. You can't name me a single offensive player of the year that didn't get X Factor. He's crazy, dude. Both of these guys had crazy seasons. He deserves it. Jelani Woods getting X Factor? I don't know about that, but you know what? I'll take it. Oh, Vic, you only give people X Factor so that way it works out in your favor. I'm being realistic with the AI. If the AI makes a stupid decision and give Julius Brent superstar, I'll take it. You know what? Colson has X Factor. He still had a great season. And then Chop Robinson, he doesn't get an upgrade, but he's still balling out. Carson only has star dev. Why does Rodney Thomas get superstar dev? Is he in a specialist position? He's a third string slot corner. Why are they getting these ups? Like I, for some reason, I noticed that. Like a lot of backup free safeties or second string strong safeties get a lot of reps for some reason. It's weird. And since backup free safeties do get a lot of reps, Rodney Thomas is super cheap because he's a second string. He has superstar dev. I didn't really want to sign him before, but as a depth player, he keeps improving, so why not just keep re-signing him on a three-year contract? That profile picture looks deadly, dude. Anthony Richardson, of course, I'm going to accept that option to force Buckner. Team has a franchise QB now. I'm glad I waited on this. Give him another one-year contract, work his contract down as he regresses. Julian Blackman, he just doesn't want to be here despite him winning. Honestly, he's 28. He's starting regression. As much as I like him in real life, he just doesn't want to be here, and I'm not going to force him to be here either anymore. I'm going to give him the exact same contract. He resigns on that after regressing one overall. Alec Pierce, I don't really need you anymore as much as you're actually pretty solid in real life. Levi Wallace, Tyron Matthew. Tyron Matthew, I wouldn't mind back for another one-year deal, so I'm just going to do this, and he wants to play for a new team. That's fine. I'll just snag him in a free agency if I can't get him again. Ryan Kelly, I'll let walk. Dalvin Tomlinson, I'm going to let walk. Everyone else here, I just don't want. Is Jacoby Brissett actually a mentor? Let me look at this. Jacoby Brissett is a mentor, so I'm actually going to re-sign him. Put him on a three-year deal, so that way he stays my mentor for the rest of the rebuild, and he re-signs. After free agency, I got Tyron Matthew back on a cheaper contract than what I originally offered him. Jermaine Pratt, kind of expensive, but again, it's only a one-year deal, so I don't have to worry about it for future signings. In the first round, getting Julian Blackman's replacement, a strong safety that's 5'9". I honestly didn't look at that. I don't know how you're 5'9", 207. I mean, crazy though. Still, if he can put in the work and he's a first round projection, why not? 90 speed, 89 acceleration, hidden dev. I don't really like his size, as I just mentioned, but B zone coverage, A pursuit, A awareness is mainly why I took him. Solid athleticism across the board too. And in the third round, picking up defensive back Garrison, no less, out of Alabama. 6'1", 205, hidden dev, 91 speed, 90 acceleration, 96 jumping is great. B zone coverage. A press, B catching, B block shedding. Honestly, this guy looks better than my strong safety. He's the same weight, taller, faster, can jump higher, hidden devs too, A press, B zone coverage. He's a zone archetype. I might just switch him. This is the team year number three. It looks sick. Yeah, sure. The interior offensive line may has may have regressed. George only increased one overall from his rookie year because he was a backup. Still, he's great for the position. 93 strength at 76 overall. Very well balanced. I think he'll fill in just fine for Ryan Kelly. And of course, the rest of the offense looks sick. Defensively, Tierra Tart is going to be the number two. Thomas is the number three. Still a 400 pound defensive tackle and rotation is sick. No less is a 69 overall. If he was a higher overall, I'd put him at strong safety. Christopher Bernard, 5'9". Again, I hate that. He's slower. His zone coverage is an 80, though. His man coverage is a 62, so I definitely can't put him at DB. But the fact that he's 5'9", he's slower, and can't can't jump as high as the other guy is kind of nuts to me, especially since he's a first-round pick. Where is his jumping? Isn't that important for a safety? I guess I just can't find it or I'm just really stupid. Either way, I guess he's going to start. Also, he's a 78 overall, which is really good for rookie, surprisingly. And then I'm going to move no less up. Hopefully he just does really well there. Carson seems pretty sick. For a fourth round pick, that's actually pretty nice or actually a third round pick. And then Jermaine Pratt on a one-year deal. I got this guy Sanders in the second round. He looks so sick at a TCU. He had like elite speed. Yeah, 90 speed, 88 acceleration, 79 tackle. Like he looked really good. And then they're like, eh, normal dev is the best we can do but overall i think the team does look really good replacing bernard with julian blackman he's only four overalls lower he's going to progress instead of regress the team looks great from the way i see it 87 overall the offense looks sick let's move into the midseason mark for year number three three and three third in the division why is my team suddenly like look at my team ranks i have top five offense top five defense and we're just mid why for the scouting national focus i always get this later in the rebuilds i don't know what to do like i don't need receivers because fourth string receivers do nothing in madden don't need a running back don't need quarterback 
Don't need anything offensive line wise. Sure, I guess we're going to stack depth at defensive end. For the players who did to negotiate, Jonathan Taylor, absolutely, you're coming back. Three year deal for him, and he resigns. Julius Brents, he's 26 years old. I don't know how he got superstar dead, but four year contract, player friendly, and he resigns as well. Josh Downs, love this dude. I, I don't know why. He's just sick to me. Josh Downs resigns after his thousand yard season. Quentin Nelson, absolutely, one one year deal. How about a four year deal? Yeah, he resigns on that as well. DeForest Buckner, I'm just going to keep working down his contract. So whenever he regresses in the next season, and it will in the off season. Same thing with Kenny Moore. I'm just going to give them lower pay. Jermaine Pratt, same thing to here. Tart, same thing. Everyone else here, same thing with Tyron Matthew. Everyone else, Matt Gay is in the final year of his deal. I can just get a new kicker if he just doesn't want to be here. Why doesn't he want to be here? No state income tax. Indiana state income tax really ain't that bad. Shop Robinson, of course, I'll accept that option. But for now, 46 million left here. Let's move in to the playoffs. After being three and three, we still finished 12 and five top of the division. We got an easier opponent here in the Jaguars coming off another week 18 win against the Texans. Top four defense and we got top 10. Well, top 10 defense, top four offense is what I meant to say. The Texans finishing four and 13 is actually crazy. Jaguars 10 and seven, Titans 11 and six with Caleb Williams. Yes, Caleb Williams is on the Titans. I can't do anything if the AI decides that uh, they don't want to pick Caleb Williams, but number two offense, 13th best defense, according to this for yards. And then what do we have? Anthony Richardson is eighth for MVP this year, second in passing yards, eighth in passing touchdown. The interceptions need to come down, dude. 111 pass rating, 15 interceptions, 35 touchdowns, 4,500 yards. Jonathan Taylor, 1,600 yards, 5.3 per carry, 17 touchdowns. is an amazing year. Michael Pittman, two receivers here with over 100 receptions is nuts. Michael Pittman, 1,400 yards, 12 touchdowns. Josh Downs, nine touchdowns, 1,300 yards. This is superstar depth. Crazy year from him. Jelani Woods, seven touchdowns, 800 yards. Xavier Leggett, just mid again. Defensively, Jermaine Pratt, 120 tackles, tackles for a loss, 16 for DeForest Buckner sacks. No double digit sacks from anyone this year. Chop Robinson, really. And then he didn't like fall off because like I don't have to pay him, so I don't want to say that because he's he's not really worth anything in terms of a contract right now, but I expected more production for being a superstar. Kenny Moore with five interceptions is great. Safeties, zero defensive touchdowns is zero. Can we make a run back to back years? We got to first start off with a win against the Jaguars and we don't start off with a win. All right, year number four, let's move into it. And the Eagles go to back-to-back -back Super Bowls, but this time they actually win it, beating Caleb Williams and the Titans. Jalen Hurts wins the Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes wins the league MVP, and there are no awards here for the Colts. In the AFC South, Brandon Scherf retires with the Jaguars. Did he go back to the Jaguars? No, he was on the Commanders before, and then he went to the Jaguars. For the team upgrades offensively, Josh Downs is getting superstar. He had over 100 receptions, almost 1,400 yards. I don't care. He only had nine touchdowns, but nine touchdowns is still a good season. I don't care if you complain in the comments. Oh, you're giving too many people dabs. I don't care. I'm being realistic. Defensively, what do we have? Any other upgrades? Kenny Moore gets superstar. No less comes with superstar. Bernard is already up to the same overall that Blackman would have been. Blackman would have actually been regressing and down from an 82 overall, which is nice. So team looks pretty nice. Meredith is only up to a 76. I picked him in year number one, well, year number two, but hasn't really progressed that much, but team looks solid here. 89 overall. Let's move into the resigning. Team looks more than solid. It looks crazy on the offense. Then defense looks solid. For the players that negotiate, Chop Robinson, I'll accept his option to force Buckner and work down his contract as he goes. And I have to pay him 6 million less now because of that. Kenny Moore, I'm going to work down his contract. Same thing with him. And I have to pay him like 2 million less. W. Jermaine Pratt, going to keep him around. I'm trying to maintain this team for the final year. Just re-signing all these guys because even though we were limited in the first round, I still know I have a really good team. And then apart from that, Tyron Matthews, I wouldn't mind him back just for another year. Sure, it's the final year. Just give him the two-year contract. He resigns on that. It's not bad, even though he's super old and mad, and he's an 82. He's higher than my other guy. Matt Gay, since he doesn't want to be here, I'll just sign a new kicker in free agency. After free agency, getting Jake Elliott in a washed-out version of Kevin Byard in the future. Yes, in the future, guys, in Madden. Don't grill me in the comments. Oh, this idiot said Kevin Byard was washed out in Madden. There's a clear difference. He's an 81 overall. He's going to continue to regress, but I'm just going to keep Matt strong safety for the final year because I have money, so why not? In the first round, picking up a middle linebacker because I can never seem to draft one with a hidden dev, which is frustrating and I can again Alfonso Neal out of Louisville normal dev 6'3 230 very athletic he had elite speed elite acceleration 91 speed 89 acceleration a awareness b block shooting b tackle but again only normal dev in the second round picking up more depth at defensive tackle Tracy Donaldson out of California 6'1 301 hidden dev 84 strength 
78 jumping, 85 acceleration, A finesse moves. He had an overall good athleticism, so that's why I took him. I just need my team to perform already. Like, I can't be a first round exit with the players that I have. Now, this is the team moving into the fourth and final year. I don't know what to do if this team doesn't win at least a playoff game. Like, this is such a sick team that I built. Pittman's a 93, Taylor's a 95, Richardson's a 94. He will soon to be 99. Downs is a superstar. Jelani Woods is an X factor. Great offensive line. 89 overall team. So much depth. Donaldson is a 70 overall. Kevin Byard is going to be the backup here. I have two backup superstar safety. That's how crazy my team is. A fourth string superstar defensive back. Like I need, I need us to win. Like this is getting annoying. Anyways, we made a run in year number two. We better make the playoffs in year number four. I'm sure Madden would be like, eh, we just decided your team sucks. Six and 11. 16 and one, top of the division. Why is my defensive passing game 29? You know, I don't want to complain, but it's like, damn, like I have two superstar backup safeties, three superstar DBs. It's like, oh, it's not about the dev, Vic. It's it's about the overall. I'm very convinced that dev traits, superstar, specifically superstar and X-Factor, make a huge impact on simulation. But anyways, number one offense in the league, 18th best defense for no reason. We get a first round buy, so at least I won't be eliminated in the wild card. And then coming off a week 18 wins of the Niners. Stats and awards, Anthony Richardson, please. 130 pass rating, that's gotta be league MVP. How? He is getting snubbed. He's getting snubbed, dude. 130 pass rating. He can't have so many interceptions this year. Best offense in the NFL. How is this 24th? How, dude? Anyways, 45 touchdowns to five interceptions, 130 pass rating, 4,800 yard. This is a league MVP season any other year, unless it's Lamar, dude. I swear. Let's see what Lamar did. Lamar, way less yards, less touchdowns, same amount of interceptions, less passer rating, rushing wise, 11 rushing touchdowns. So total, what does he have? He has 48 total touchdowns. So, and he has 900 rushing yards, still 900 rushing yards. So total yards, Anthony Richardson has more. And then touchdowns total Lamar has 48 Richardson has 47 passing touchdowns they have the same amount of interceptions he has a lower passer rating let's see Anthony Richardson Anthony Richardson for his rushing touchdowns let's see if he has any he has one so they have the same amount of total touchdowns he has more total yards same amount of interceptions a better passer rating he got snubbed he is a better player and he went 16 and 1 and got a first round bye he got snubbed, dude. Oh, Vic, it's only a Madden MVP. I don't care. I built a crazy team. I want it to be crazy. And yeah, he didn't get a first. He didn't get a first seed. He got a sixth seed. Anthony Richardson got a one seed. He had a better record, more total yards, same amount of total touchdowns, same amount of interceptions, and a higher passer rating. There's no way Richardson doesn't get that. For the rushing wise, Jonathan Taylor, 307 attempts, 600 yards, 5.5 per carry, 28 touchdowns is nuts, breaking the NFL record for the most rushing touchdowns in a year. Crazy year for Jonathan Taylor as well. If you could only give some of those, just a little bit more of those touchdowns to Anthony Richardson, that'd be nice for the league MVP. But still, that's honestly a league MVP in itself. Like that's a crazy year for Jonathan Taylor. But Michael Pittman with 1,200 yards, seven touchdowns, Josh Downs, 12 touchdowns, 1,200 yards, that's X factor. Xavier Leggett, 13 touchdowns are really nice finally having a really good season here but only 800 yards shalani was doing really good for a tight end 900 yards nine touchdowns also jonathan taylor had a total of 32 touchdowns with these additional four receiving touchdowns crazy year for him too and after having 32 touchdowns they put jonathan taylor for 10th for league mvp sure dude junior colson 127 tackles tackles for a loss 16 for chop robinson sacks 13 for DeForest Buckner. He's still kicking. Even though he's an 84 overall, this is what I mean by X factors sometimes have more value than higher overall players. 13 sacks for an 84 overall. If that's like a star dev, definitely not going to happen. But Chop Robinson, 12 and a half sacks, 16 tackles for a loss. Great. Could he pay? He never really developed. I mean, 16 tackles for a loss is nice, but only four and a half sacks. I want him to like rush the QB, you know, but I guess these two dudes are already doing it. Interceptions two for Julius Brents. Safeties on teams here. Defensive touchdowns is zero. We're going to be playing the Stephon Diggs Texans who are 10, 6, and 1. I'm going to hop into this even though I've already won a divisional round game. I'm not ending the 16 and 1 season on a loss. Here we are against the Texans. We're going to start out with nothing. Neither team starts out with anything. Nobody gets any points at the end of the first quarter. How did we not score there in that red zone? 3 nothing. This is the number one offense in the league, by the way. Zero points in all the way to the fourth quarter. Wow, what a number one offense. I'm going to play the game at this point. 14 to 10 because of the Jonathan Taylor run. Please just don't punt the ball. Thank you. 21 to 17. 
Just uh, defense, you got to do something too, you know. It would be crazy if you did that. 21-24, I'm going to go end the game. Pressing Michael Pittman. Oh, that's going to be wide open over the middle. That's Josh Downs. Cut up the field. Josh Downs, nice stuff. Hurry up. First and 10. What are we going to have? Jelani Woods, you have to get off your guy to, you know, go get the route. But Jelani Woods led up the field. Second and 10. Going to take a timeout here. First and 10. Let's see what we got. We got the play action. I'll take, ooh, is that Jelani Woods touchdown? Jelani Woods touchdown. And of course, I have to hop in for the remainder 30 seconds or else the AI is just going to run man coverage and get torched over the top. They have to get a touchdown. They can't just have three points and end it at that. But Dalton Schultz on a check down. Nice read, dude. Third and three, 17 seconds left. They're going to the flat here. We're all over him. First and 10, then six, five, four, going to a throwaway. What was that? Third and six. Final play of the game. It was honestly a terrible run for CJ Shaw. The AI is just stupid whenever you play, but they're a god in sim. Nice read, CJ Stroud, way to just try and throw the ball downfield. I feel like that always happens on the final play. But anyways, 28 to 24, we're going to secure the dub because the AI would have screwed it up for me. Anyways, look at that scoring by quarter at the bottom right. Scoring summary, just the shoot up is crazy. Anyways, let's move on to the conference championship. Here to face the 12 and 5 Buffalo Bills in the conference championship. Here we are against the Bills. They're going to start out with seven. We're going to respond with nothing, I guess. Okay, another Anthony Richardson turnover after only throwing five picks this year so but still 14-7 in the third quarter nice stuff for us defensive game here fourth quarter we get two score lead here they're gonna make it a one score lead again how do you let that happen the ai is so stupid they just immediately turned over the ball in the red zone and then just gave the bills the lead my god just run the damn ball whenever you have the ball in the fourth quarter it's that simple you have the lead you're in the fourth quarter run the ball third and inches i'm gonna have to do this myself because the ai is stupid first and ten. First and ten. what do we got going right over the middle of Josh Downs. That was kind of a hospital pass, but he got out of it somehow. First and 10. First and 10. Let's see what we got. Probably Jelani Woods if I give it time. Nice pass. Lo love the accuracy of my 96 overall X-Factor QB. Second and 10. What are we going to have? Maybe RB? Going to go back to A. Thankfully, he throws the good pass this time for my X-Factor QB. Want to stay in bounds. Want to drain this clock a little bit more. First and 10. What are we going to have here? Just keep rolling out to the outside. Will X be open if I lead that? Lead that forward. Thank you, Michael Pittman Jr. Down to the one. I got to drain the clock a little bit more here. First and goal. Giving it to Jonathan Taylor right up the middle. Eight seconds left. There's no way they score right eight seconds you know three timeouts maybe field goal range if they're lucky they're not going to get this they won't get it 24 to 21 as your 16 and 1 indianapolis colts are moving on to the super bowl with anthony richardson and it's the number one overall pick versus the number four overall pick. Debo Samuel's on the Panthers now. I can kind of see that in real life. For the team upgrades, Josh Downs does get to a superstar X Factor. That's awesome to see. No other upgrades though on offense. Defensively, don't see Donaldson's upgrade. Anyone else here actually get like an upgrade upgrade? Chop Robinson after having 12 and a half sacks doesn't get X Factor. Still, Kevin Byer is about to get a ring here and a bunch of other players, of course. But 90 overall team, we're 16 and 1. Came all this way. I have a 99 QB and he was missing throws in the last game but anyways not here to complain about that let's just win the super bowl here we are against the panthers immediately a seven nothing start turning over in the red zone then capitalizing on it 14 nothing start 14 7 21 7 two score lead in the second quarter we almost had a three score lead at half i don't know what that is they get in like the red zone and then they just give up the ball but anyways 34 7 humiliation in the super bowl anthony richardson showing that he should have been the number one overall pick 38 to 14 against bryce young and the carolina panthers as the indianapolis colts and AR5 here wins the Super Bowl, and that will be a successful rebuild. Anthony Richardson with a nice game, 80% completion percentage. Bryce Young also with a nice game as well. Your Super Bowl MVP is Kevin Byard. He wins a Super Bowl MVP, gets a Super Bowl ring. That could be into contention for Hall of Fame. He's had a lot of all pros. He gets a ring. I mean, it's probably not first ballot, but he gets a ring. He gets a Super Bowl MVP. He's had a lot of all pros, but unfortunately, it's not for Anthony Richardson. Something that should have been for Anthony Richardson is that league MVP. He got snubbed so hard the Colts though do get coached the year after going 16-1 Jonathan Taylor offensive player of the year honestly should have been contention for MVP as well uh, Lamar still had an amazing year but again it should have been AR and then no other upgrades well no other awards for the offensive rookies of the year or defensive rookie of the year but anyways guys apart from that I thank you guys all for watching I actually really like this suggestion because I really really like the Colts in real life with all their new young players I think they're going to be a sick team in real life but apart from that guys remember 150 likes and I'll do whatever the top comment says for a rebuild and I'll see you guys all in the next one